welcome to Hayden Hill House. Before this grand and beautiful Victorian house was built in 1878, there stood on the site an old farmhouse. George Alfred Hayden Hayden Best lived in the farmhouse and he acted as bailiff to his uncle Frederick and was also the manager of Hayden Hill Farm. When George Alfred inherited the Hayden Estates in 1877, he demolished the old farmhouse to build this beautiful Victorian house. Now, if you've got a farmhouse kitchen, or any other kind of kitchen, or indeed any shelves in your house, I'm going to show you an excellent farmhouse trick to keep your shelves nice and clean, but also to make them look rather pretty. So here's some I made earlier. You heard it here first. First of all, you will need some paper. Any kind of paper is fine, as long as it's a rectangle shape with one side longer than the other. You could use some newspaper if you wanted to, or you could use some old wallpaper, you could use the pattern side, or you could use the plain side and you could colour it in and draw patterns on it yourself. I've left mine plain, but you could easily draw some very fancy and colourful patterns. So the first thing you're going to do is to fold your paper in half long ways. So I will do that and I will show you. So you have something that kind of shape. And then you're going to unfold it. So you've got a nice line down the middle to tell you where the halfway point is. This is because the top half is going to go on the shelf to keep your shelf clean and the bottom half is going to be where your pattern is. Once you have done that, you are going to fold the paper like you're making a paper fan. So forward and then backwards. Show you. So first of all, fold it that way. And then you will need to turn it round and fold it the other way. Make nice big folds because you will need to create your pattern on the fold. So do that till the whole piece is folded up. It doesn't matter if you've got half a fold at the end. So now we've got our folded piece of paper and we've got our halfway point. So we're not going to do any ripping at the top here or any colouring. Um, we're going to create the pattern in the bottom half by making a series of rips. So here's the exciting part. So first of all, I'm going to rip just a little hole there like that. And then I'm going to rip something a little bit bigger at the bottom like that to create a bit of a point. And then I might rip another hole there like that, so let's do something on the other side. Now you can use this on any shelf in your house to keep it clean, so any of the spills from what's in on your shelves will go onto the top, or um, any shelves at all. They can be in your bedroom, they can be in your kitchen, even if you don't have a farmhouse kitchen, they can help to keep your shelves clean and also very pretty. So I've done all the ripping I want to there, so I'm gonna now open it out to see what my design looks like. I'm quite pleased with that, and it's different to the ones that I did earlier. So now that's ready to be folded back in half, so it can go on the shelf, and the pattern will dangle down. So if you have a go at this at home, you can decorate that now if you want to, colour it in, paint it, uh, create pretty patterns on it, and you can put it on your shelves at home. You can put them on the shelves all over your house, in fact. So enjoy and happy shelf edge making.